I do research in a variety of topics, but the big word that we associate with many of the questions that I ask about is called is the word symplectic geometry. And symplectic geometry is a particular kind of geometry that comes when you have a structure on your system called a symplectic structure. And really what a symplectic structure is telling about is the area that we might measure within this system. That's one way to think of it. But it also is a structure that has a lot of flexibility, but yet it's enough order to try to get at some of the questions that we want. Many physical systems naturally have a symplectic structure, so there's kind of motivation that comes from us from the real world, but we quickly take those questions and make them extremely abstract. So the spaces that we actually look at, while they have the symplectic structure, uh, you would be hard pressed to say and that would answer this physical question over here because we don't really think about that physical question anymore. Uh, and so the, the word symplectic makes it sound very hard and the structure has its own definition, but in practice when I'm actually dealing with specific spaces I have a definition that doesn't involve the word symplectic at all that maybe involves words like vector spaces. Um, and so uh, the kinds of things I look at are how we can take these symplectic spaces and move them around and see what properties that they have. And uh, it's also closely related to a field called algebraic geometry, which is fundamentally the study of polynomials, but it's translated into uh, these geometric objects by saying one of the polynomials is zero. So this solution set, which is a set of zeros of a set of polynomials, is what we call an algebraic variety. And these things are really complicated and people don't understand some that are actually quite simply defined. They're still kind of hard to play around with. Um, and a lot of those naturally have a symplectic structure on them. So my field encompasses many different arenas within mathematics. Uh, there's a lot of geometry, uh, various flavors, differential geometry, algebraic geometry. There's a lot of study of polytopes and combinatorics that comes into it. And then there's what we call commutative algebra, which comes into it, which is studying the associated algebraic objects to this. So there's a lot of fields that come together in symplectic geometry. Uh, and that bridging is something I really like. So I think that's probably one of the reasons that I chose symplectic geometry.